Hi, I'm Christian. And I'm Ethan. We're with Osborne Wood Products. As you know, we offer a wide variety of table pedestal options. And they're perfect for replacing an old pedestal on an old table. But some of you are building a new table and you want to know how do I connect my Osborne pedestal kit to my tabletop? And we're going to show you. In order to do this, you're going to need a plate which can be made out of plywood with some pre-drilled holes and two stretcher boards. You can buy the whole kit from us for $65 or you can make them yourself. The first step of this process is to take your plate and temporarily install it onto your stretchers. When you do this, you want to make sure that your stretchers are lined up in parallel and that your plate is centered on your stretchers. After you've temporarily installed the plate to the stretchers, you want to take a pencil and mark where the stretcher meets the plate, both on the plate and on the stretcher. This will be useful later on in the process. Now that the plate is secured to the stretchers, you're going to need to center the whole unit with the tabletop. In order to do this, measure from each side of the skirt boards to the stretchers and ensure that they're the same distance apart on every side. Also center them in this direction. Now I'm going to screw the stretchers into the tabletop. Now we will uninstall the plate from the stretchers. Now we can screw the remaining screws into the stretchers through the tabletop. After you've secured your stretchers onto the tabletop, you want to take your plate and secure it onto your table base. We've pre-drilled holes in our plate so that they line up with the bolts on our pedestal. The last step is to flip the pedestal over and secure it to the tabletop. Once the table pedestal is flipped over onto the top, line up the plate with the lines of the intersections that you made earlier in the process. Now we can reattach the plate to the stretchers. Now that everything's secured, we're able to flip over our finished table. For other how-to projects, visit our blog at osbornwood.com.